not a man. And if I put electrodes on you while you were driving and recorded your muscle movements, you're making uh, 70 to 80 movements a minute that you're not even thinking about. You're thinking about what you had for breakfast, what you're going to do tonight, the fight you had with so-and-so. All of those things when you're driving on, almost on autopilot. Now, there's one other interesting thing that happens when we learn things. And in this example, this is a primate that's having uh, recording from the reward system of the brain. And the primate sees a cue, presses a lever, and then gets juice. Okay? So, at the beginning, sees the screen, presses the lever, gets the juice, has the feeling of reward in the dopamine systems. With training, however, what happens is, sees the screen, the reward system is going bonkers already before they even press the lever or getting the juice. So this is another example, as we're going through life, we're already experiencing the feeling of the result before it occurs. And when you begin to look at these in terms of the stroke example, look at in the functional MRI, you begin to see that in contrast to how we think we work, that's not really how we work. And uh, most of our habits are really reflexive. And uh, I believe for a long time that about 95% of our day-to-day -day actions happen on autopilot. And the only time that we're not doing that is when something happens to disrupt the flow. There, some people are writing articles and things along that line. They're saying 99 plus percent of the time we're functioning on autopilot. Okay?